Hey, this is Sean from The Digital Organizer. One of my favorite things about Google Workspace is the ability to create your own template gallery. So I love creating uh, documents that are all streamlined, look beautiful, and are consistent across the board. So whenever we have documentation or notes or anything like that, we're following the same format. Uh, so to make this easy, we wanna use the template gallery. And I'll show you how this works in, uh, practically and then how to do it. So first off, uh, in my clients folder, we only have our current clients in here. And then I got a folder for prospects. And inside of prospects is where I create new documents for notes that I'm taking with clients during a discovery call. So I just go to the folder that I want to create this new document in, hover over top of Google Docs and choose from a template. And here it's going to show me all of the different templates that are available to me that I've uploaded and I'm going to choose appointment notes. So what this is doing is it's pulling from my template uh, and I've got a folder. So if we go back to my shared drives here and go into operations, I have a folder for templates and here's all of my different templates. So if I update my appointment notes document right here, whatever I do in here, it uploads it into the template gallery automatically. So all of those changes sync live for any new document that's being created. So this is just so easy easy to create consistency across the board. Um, so we come in here and I just will come in, you know, date my file and then <clears throat> put in notes at the end, you know, who am I meeting with and we'll go from there. All right. So how do we do this in Google docs? If we go in to create a new document and we choose from a template, it may show up with general by default, but all you need to do is click on the digital organizer. Well, yours is gonna say whatever your organization is. By the way, you're not gonna see this for a normal Gmail account. This is only for paid Google Workspace. So from here, you can hit submit a template. And in here, we can hit select a document, and then we wanna choose the document that we wanna upload. In this case, I'm gonna pick from shared with me. I'm gonna to go to operations. I would go to templates. I want that dedicated spot for templates. So everyone knows don't touch this document. This one is part of the template gallery. So I definitely want to set these things aside. You pick the document and you open it. Now, when you do that, we then get the option to submit a copy of the file instead of the original. So that creates something totally separate so that you can't mess up the original. I like being able to edit and make tweaks to my sales process. That's my appointment notes. Um, so I'm frequently doing that. So I'm not going to submit a copy. I want the original from my temp <clears throat> templates folder. So it's really straightforward when I want to update it. Now, the next section here is category. So there are some pre-built categories that Google Workspace gives you. But if you go into the admin console in your Google Workspace, you can actually change these categories to be whatever you want them to be. Um, add new ones and remove others. That way, um, these templates match whatever you guys are creating in your organization. I hope this I hope this helps you all uh, with your um, efficiency and um, consistency or continuity throughout your organization with your document templates. If you got any questions, you can uh, reach out to me, Sean at the digitalorganizer.com. I'd be happy to answer any of your questions.